Whenever you get started with VirtualBox, there are few settings that you need to do to make your life easier, like copying and pasting from one host to another, also the drag and drop feature from one host to another, and lastly, the most irritating feature is uh, you don't get the correct integration of mouse inside your VirtualBox. Right. So in this video, we are going to get started to give you the three major settings that you should definitely do before you get started uh, with the virtualization in VBox. So in order to enable the bi-directional copy paste and drag and drop, you need to click on to the machine that you wish to enable it for. And then you need to click on settings. After clicking on settings in general, you'll see an option in advance. Here in advance, you gotta have to enable both of these options that is shared clipboard, which will enable the copy paste into the bi-directional method, which means you can copy uh, the line, you can say the text line uh, from your windows uh, to your uh, OS that is CentOS or any other. Uh, apart from that, you can also copy and paste with simple drag and drop if you can enable this into the bi-directional. So this is the settings. And apart from this, I've also received the problem uh, while uh, pointing out the mouse. It doesn't stick up properly and uh, it runs away onto the left hand side or maybe onto the right hand side. In order to fix that, you need to go inside your settings again. And inside your settings, you need to go into the system. And now this problem occurs due to the pointing device settings. Here, basically, I've been using the USB mouse, which is why I've been, uh, you know, getting these kind of problems out there. Usually the laptop user doesn't get these kind of problem. So here you're gonna have to select USB tablet. Once you'll click in here and you'll click on OK, then both of your features will work fine. So this was a quick video. In next video, I'll teach you that how you can make your virtual machines full screen uh, with the help of few commands. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again with another video.